Hi, welcome back to our series on the XRP Ledger. In this episode, we'll describe the basics of accounts. The XRP Ledger is a decentralized, permissionless, open source blockchain that anybody can contribute to and develop on. So in terms of transactions, anybody can transact or view the transactions that happen on the Ledger. To make a transaction on the Ledger, which means to send, receive, or place an offer to exchange money or other forms of value, an account is needed. These are also sometimes called wallets. An account has two important components. The public address is how an account is located on the blockchain, or in other words, how a payment is addressed. A private key ensures only the holder of the account can access the account and make transactions. There are a couple of great features of accounts on the XRP ledger that are good to know about. The first is that an account can hold multiple currencies or asset types at once. Second, for accounts that require access by more than one person, Key rotation allows an entity that owns an address, like say a charity, to enable different people to alternately hold the key for the address. So if one person leaves, their key can be removed and their successor's key can be added. This way, the account doesn't go with the person leaving. It stays with the entity. As part of setting up an account, a deposit is required. This is called an account reserve, and it's a small amount of XRP that activates the account. The reserve ensures people don't create empty accounts that would take up storage space on each node across the ledger. It also prevents spamming, which could congest the ledger. When a user closes and deletes their account, a portion of the reserve is returned to them. The reserve amount and the return amount are not fixed. These amounts are voted on by validator nodes every 256 block. Additionally, the reserve and return amounts can be adjusted in relation to the price of XRP. So as price fluctuates, the reserve and return amounts are voted on to account for that fluctuation. There are accounts that act as aggregates and include multiple users, like a large cryptocurrency exchange, for example. When an individual's account is part of a larger aggregate, the public address belongs to that aggregate account, which also is the key holder. And then the individual would be identified by a destination tag. In this scenario, Think of the public address as the street address of a large apartment building, and the destination tag as the apartment number where the individual user can be located. To learn more about the fundamentals of the XRP ledger, please watch the next episode.